I hope you're all doing good. First weekly vlog back is actually, what is the date? God, that's not good that I don't know. It's the 6th of Jan. I was giving myself an eased in, I say eased in, I've worked quite hard on a lot of the styling videos that will be coming out, but eased in in terms of like taking things slow, chilling out a lot, not vlogging, and that kind of thing. So it's been quite nice, but how are you all doing? Let me know down below. How has the start to your years been? feel like it can feel a little bit overwhelming and I've definitely felt like that a little bit where I've been like oh my goodness it's the same like it obviously a year doesn't change how you felt yesterday which was 2021 to 2022 but there's sometimes this like little pressure I don't know whether it's me personally just putting that pressure on myself or whether it's I don't know just a new year but <laughs> anyway I have definitely felt that so yeah I'm thinking of any of you guys that have been feeling a little bit like that as well and if you have just take it slow I always say baby steps baby steps take time off technology when you need it do the nice like little things that you love and yeah that's kind of what I've been doing but um I thought I'd start a weekly vlog um it's actually Wednesday or maybe it's Thursday I just don't know anymore it's Thursday the 6th so yeah I think it's Thursday the 6th it must be Anyway, <laughs> starting the vlog here. I am just getting ready for a little walk with Amelia. We're heading to the beach, just gonna go to one of my favorite little spots called Really Good Juice, which is in Brunswick in Hove. And they do amazing smoothies and free ginger shots when you buy a smoothie and loads of little cakes and little bits like that. So I haven't actually seen her in probably nearly two months. And yeah, we're just gonna go on a little walk and have a little catch up because she's in Brighton to see her family. So that should be nice. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing today. I am denied with like two outfits, but I've settled for this one. So it's actually minus three outside, which is, I mean, what? <laughs> but I forget that January is like that. So today I am in these Zara boots and spot tights from ASOS, which I've had for ages. My little Zara mini skirt. Can't really see, but like a black ribbed roll neck. And I've actually got thermals from Gilly Hicks underneath the skirt and the roll neck because it's that cold today. Um, and then I'm layered up with this little Wednesday Studios black scarf. It's like a really a soft, snuggly scarf. I've got this little Zara bag on and this dog's tooth coat from Naked Fashion, which annoyingly is sold out, but I will link the cream version down below and then I'll link similars. And then, let me just grab it. Oh, very excitingly, he likes my new coffee cup. I am obsessed with this. How cute, they go together. So basically these two match. And it's a really, really good, good, good sized coffee cup. And it's stainless steel, it's BPA free. It comes with the little chain that attaches to it. So you can take it off when you go to coffee shops. And I just love the fact like the size is big enough for an iced coffee because I don't ever feel like they're big enough when you get the stainless steel BPA free, like normal ones, they never, seem big enough for an iced coffee and I'm an iced coffee kind of gal so yeah I got those two to match which I think is just really cute and especially for travel I'll probably just end up putting like both around my neck when I'm traveling and then you've easily you can put your water in here as well so yeah that's a little new purchase of the year um but yeah this is my outfit oh and also I am wearing my key Australia tortoiseshell sunglasses today because extra why not it's a Thursday First, I was going to say Thursday is the new Friday, I don't think it is. <laughs> That's what I'm up to. I've also got a new lip combo on. So I'm now wearing the Bare Minerals Vibe lip liner and um, Balance lipstick. Had to think about that then. Basically, they discontinued my on point lip liner um, and completely, I don't, I don't know if they're redoing it. It could be that they're making it like a different formula, I don't really know because everyone was saying it's because it wasn't 100% vegan, that lip liner, whereas the others are, whereas when I researched it, it was, so I'm a bit confused. But anyway, they've discontinued it, so I'm trying out Vibe. Quite like it, quite like how kind of subtle it is, it's quite nice for every day. Um, and I'm wearing the Charlotte Tilbury foundation, the flawless finish, and it is just a dream. Like, I can't explain it, it just like airbrushes your skin. It's really great. <laughs> So anyway, I'll take you along for today. Just thought we'd catch up and yeah, I start a weekly vlog. <laughs> so guys, Amelia, ginger shots, 
They are a strong boys today. Spicy. I can't, look, I can't really do it. I, I don't know if I can. Yeah, it's got chili in it. Yeah. Okay, ready? Oh, just a lot of ginger. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so guys, I am back. We ended up actually sitting outside at coat after a little seafront walk and I got a hot chalk. I'll leave some pics on the screen here. Um, and I'm back now, I just had lunch, which was good. I had some gnocchi and some vegetables, roasted veg, which was very delicious. Um, and yeah, I'm just in my tracksuit now. I am gonna do some work. I'll show you the little setup. My sister's got Moana on and she's doing some work in her office. And I usually sit and do like work on my bed or in my chair. I don't really have like any desk, but she's got a really nice like studio set up. So recently I've been her studio work buddy and we've been um, working next to each other, which has been really nice. So yeah, I'm gonna go and do some work in there, some admin bits, and then head to Jay's later for some fish and chips. So this is a little work set up. We've got more water on in Eden's lovely little office. It's a bit dark, but it's because it's raining. And um can't show what Eden's doing, but she's doing some cool stuff. And um, I'm gonna edit it. So my lovelies, it is now six o'clock. Um, it's been a couple of hours. I've literally just been sitting and doing lots of little admin bits. I edited some reels, did some voiceover. I've just been planning tomorrow's reels. I actually am um, laying out, let me show you. So like what I'm doing for planning at the moment is I kind of just like lay out the different outfits. So tomorrow's aim is to do these black knee high, classic boots styled four different ways with a voiceover of like my tips and tricks on ways you can style them in your wardrobe and with like mainly capsule wardrobe pieces so I filmed a capsule wardrobe winter video and most of the things in that which I think was around eight things in my wardrobe maybe nine basically everything in that is stuff that I keep styling in all these other videos so that is kind of the aim I'm trying to keep everything link to those pieces obviously with like little bits and of here and there like knits and stuff like that because I can't be naked when I'm styling spot tights and things like that um but yeah that is kind of planned and set up for tomorrow and then I have a job to film tomorrow as well which is downstairs in my film room ready to go so prepped those which is good taking my makeup off I'm feeling like very hot and like flustered I think because I've just been staring at a screen and I get a little bit like work mode um but I am I think I mentioned it but I am off for dinner at Jay's tonight. Um, we are having fish and chips and we're gonna go and get them from the shop. And then we're gonna watch The New Apprentice, which is on at nine, which is exciting. Although I've been going to bed at like half eight or something ridiculous the last like eight days and waking up at like six. So probably gonna struggle staying awake till like 10, but yeah, it'll be nice to all sit with the fam and I haven't seen them in ages because over Christmas everyone was, they didn't have COVID but they had that flu that was going around so I hadn't seen them in like 12, 13 days so it'd be really nice to see them. Um, but yeah, that's the little update. Oh, I can't speak. <laughs> that's the little update. Um, I will speak to you guys in the morning probably because I'm probably going to switch off now for a bit. My New Year's resolution is to switch off by 8pm like no technology and to read a book actually. <laughs> Here I am, my books. Um, I finished reading Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid, which I was reading before that, Evelyn Hugo, well, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, and then I am reading this, and I just finished it last night. They're both so good. I actually think I prefer The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This one took me a little bit longer to get into, but then once I was in it, I was like, yeah, really enjoying it. And tomorrow i am starting where the craw dads sing i'm so excited to start it everyone has said like i'm so jealous you're reading it for the first time and things like that to me and like i've just heard amazing things i love that i've just like <laughs> laid down now but yeah it just sounds amazing and they're actually making it into a film i found out yesterday so 
yeah, excited to start reading that. Um, and that's the update on my books for anyone that cares. <laughs> See you guys in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's um, bright and early. And bright and early. That was my idea. Oh my god! Don't it... tell him that. Bright and uh, early. Bright and early. Jamie's something idea. Bing bong, bing bong. Um, it, it, what time is it? Like eight o'clock? Eight something? We're out. Yeah. We're up and out. It was a bit of a struggle waking up. I have to say. Mm. Um, but I have to get to work today, so the only time me and Jake can do our walk is if we leave early. So we just like snuggled up. I got my little coffee cup holder again today. I'm absolutely obsessed. Um, Jay doesn't yet, but I'll get him one at some point. Um, I don't want a bag of coffee. <laughs> yeah, you can just have the cup. They're great. I really, really like it. Um, but anyway, we're heading off to the beach. We're going to go walk down our street with the houses that we want to buy on. Every day we walk down and we just manifest that we're going to live there. Do we want to go down this one today? Oh, we have to go down this one. But we want to go get Danishes. Okay. Oh, is it this one? We're not going to your house then. We're not going to our dream house. Because <laughs> um, there's a new flower pot that's opened up near, like along the seafront. And we get our coffees from 17 grams sorry <laughs> 17 grams and then we get our danishes from the flower pot at the moment because there's a cinnamon swirl bun it's thing. an orange and cinnamon morning bun so good and i get a pan of raisin <laughs> pan of raisin i always say that in such an english <laughs> way pan of raisin um and i'm getting a pan of raisin pan of raisin we watched apprentice last night like i said and the drama on that show the arguments, the bad taste, how, like, just blows my mind a bit. I know they have to do it very, very quick. Be like, nice. <laughs> no, but I just don't know why they argue so much. It's just so negative. Yeah, they're out, they're out at each other straight away. Yeah, like straight away there was just arguments left, right and centre. But, you know. How would you do on it? How would I do? Yeah. I think I'd really struggle with, like, speaking up. Yeah, I'd be coming like, for someone. Day one, as soon as you, anyone you makes a mistake, I'd be like... You made a mistake. No. <laughs> no, but that's the thing. You really do have to hold your own, don't you? You do have to speak up. I'd over straight everyone. away. I'll go. I'll you... be offensive, man, Mr. Yeah. Offensive. Just mm. out there kicking doors in. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot because you really do have to like. But when speak it actually comes down to stuff. any ideas, I'll be giving nothing, so that you can't like. But I would give ideas. Yeah, but, like yeah, but th but that's that's it. Then you're up for for criticism. Yeah, but, your then, ideas but you're not going to get back. anywhere unless you say yeah, ideas. Yeah, but if, if all I do is just deflect everything by just going. well yeah that's how we do it on the apprentice there you go um we would not win you have good eyes today in the, in the boardroom what do you mean good eyes well the lights in the boardroom make blue eyes look oh yeah mega. they do that would be fun um <laughs> my eyes they don't look blue do they like honestly they're like dark gray um anyway i hope you guys have a nice morning when you're watching this or afternoon or evening i know that i literally started the vlog yesterday so i don't know why i'm saying that but just at this point in the video i just hope you're good basically and hope you've got your coffees if it's the morning if it's the evening mm, you might have a bit too much energy you might not be able to sleep if you're working nights <laughs> if you're working nights get coffee. cheers to that <laughs> nhs workers oh yeah love you guys um, um who yeah, else we'll see you soon when we're down on the beach at lorry drivers hello <laughs> so we just had our little walk and we've actually come back down the street that I was telling you guys about with the houses that we want in the future this dreamy street honestly these houses are like 1.5 million you know aiming big <laughs> but they are just like it's just such a quiet road listen to how quiet it is ready like you're near the sea you're near basically the area we kind of want to be in and it's just like you come off the main road and it's dead silent it's also starting to rain how do we make, how do we make that money Maybe I said, I I sell my feet. So, other kidney. <laughs> He's only got one kidney left, by the way. I That's why I'm joking about it. <laughs> no, you need a kidney. Right. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, it's really raining. 
Anyway, just quickly wanted to jump on and say we just were walking off from the beach and this woman, watch out for the poo. Yeah. This woman in her car opened her boot to two tiny blonde lab pups. And me and Jay, I, I honestly had tears in my eyes. I was fully nearly crying because I want two labs. I know we've got Winnie, but Winnie is Jamie's parents. So in the future, I want two labs or two retrievers or like a retriever and a lab. But they were siblings and they were just so nice. And yeah, I just, but they were honestly beautiful. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, we're heading back. But yeah, my hands are frozen, so I'm gonna put this down and I'll probably crack on with filming and then catch up with you guys later because I've got to film on this and the battery is currently going down day done so excited for that to be over oh god crazy hair um i just did some filming for a bit and yeah i'm gonna go shower off now but i've just been filming for about six hours so i'm a bit bit of a hot mess and you know you just need to like zen out for a bit and chill so i'm gonna go have a shower have a bit of me time and then yeah crack on with some editing so i've got a few deadlines to edit this evening on this little baby that i've just filmed on but i filmed some like suit styling for day to night and then i did some honey boot styling so i'm going to do the voiceover for that but yeah already exciting stuff and enjoyed doing it so yeah it's a first well it's a first it's not first but enjoying doing it i was in like kind of a rut in december so Sorry, my floorboard is very squeaky. But yeah, in December I was in a bit of a rut with filming and now I feel like I'm out of it. So it's good stuff and I'm enjoying it again. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll catch up with you guys soon, but I just thought I'd update you on what I've been doing. Sweaty mess, I'm gonna go get in PJs. Hello my lovelies, God, where is the light? I'm gonna have to come in my bathroom, it's so dark today. So it's a couple of days later and I, yeah, basically I've just been filming on this camera really kind of in hibernation mode a little bit because I've just been so anxious. I've been having these like nightmares and then waking up with my adrenals like kicking in at like 2 a.m. and it's just not been fun. So I've been really tired and I've just been kind of wearing tracksuits, filming, cracking on with work, just kind of like staying in a routine. So I always find that really helps when I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed, just to kind of take it slow in the mornings and then just have a little bit of structure to my day. So that's why I didn't pick up the camera for the last like two to three days, but I'm back in the vlog again. Um, little updates for you guys. I can't look post-it notes for mirror. Um, little update, very unexpected, but this video is gonna be this now pretty much, this vlog. I'm packing for Mexico. I go in six days. So the day you're watching this is the day that I'm flying. I will currently be on a flight that is about a day and a half long trip that we're doing because when we get into uh, Cancun, is that how you say it, pronounce it? I think so. We are literally like flying in and then going to a little island straight away because we're going to the less kind of, I guess it's still touristy, but the less busy area to start with because we want to get there, settle, chill out, just have some like time to read books and do some swimming and things like that and I think that partly could be why my anxiety has been playing up because I am a very anxious flyer and um, I haven't been away since like two and a half years now and yeah I'm just kind of like grasping the opportunity to like it feels right to go in terms of scenarios in my life and where I'm at I've had Covid I've like I'm double vaxxed all that kind of stuff and yeah it just feels like the best thing to do and obviously taking all the safety precautions and whatnot and making sure that it's the right thing but I don't think I'll get the opportunity for a while this year because of stuff that I'm doing so like behind the scenes that I can't talk about which is so annoying but anyway I'm going away which is just mind-blowing I haven't actually told like anyone apart from Jamie and my dad <laughs> because I don't want to like jinx it by talking about it but if you're seeing this it means I'm on the flight and it means I'm on my way there and I can't quite believe I'm saying that because I have dreamed of going away for so long. But anyway, enough about that. There will be a little Mexico vlog, I'm sure. Let me turn the light on in here. I actually can't get over how dark and rainy it is today, guys. It's honestly just a gloomy, gloomy day. But it is actually six days till we go. But I am quite busy with work this week now because it's so last minute. I'm like cramming everything in. So currently packing. So I thought I would show you, I'm going to put you here, show you some of the things that I've got. Excuse the mess because it is honestly so messy and I'm literally in my pyjamas. But I did an order 
on Amazon and you basically get these massive, so I had loads of these, but they all, I don't know where they've gone over the years. Like I had one from about 10 years ago, but they literally come with like seven different things in. So I've got all my little travel bags, laundry bags. I'm a bit of an organized, like, I don't know what the word is. I don't want to say freak because I don't feel like that's the right thing to say, <laughs> but I like being organized when it comes to packing. Um, I also did a massive mosquito order. Like when I say <laughs> I have gone overboard with how much stuff I have, like I am, there is no mosquitoes are gonna come for me. I've heard bad things about the mosquitoes in Mexico. And let's just say that I am like the one that they go for. My blood type, don't know what it is, for the whole of my life, they have always gone for me. Like I have some incense sticks. I have the bands, although they, like Amazon sent me the wrong bands. These are now 100% natural and I definitely didn't order natural. I want like the strongest DEET you can get because I basically, I don't know what it is. Let me know if anyone else is the same, but I scar for around four to five months after being bitten. And I just, I just don't enjoy it. <laughs> so yeah, I've got all the precautions with that. I've got my plugs. I've ordered all the anti-backs. <laughs> I've done like a bulk order. I actually ordered a rape alarm. I don't know where my rape alarm went. So I ordered one. I don't know why I felt like I needed to, but I think it made me feel less anxious when I was like feeling a bit anxious the last few days to order a rape alarm. Um, I also ordered some masks because you know, you can never go wrong. I also had to order and pay for about 20 lateral flows because they're all sold out everywhere. So if anyone is on the hunt for these, I did actually pay 20 quid to get a box of seven. And then I managed to get in the waiting list to order some more online because I just needed them anyway. Scrubbing mitts, you can never go wrong with those. I've got my go-to sun cream, Factor 50 by Clarins. I'm just currently deciding whether to do the, this is like water mist, but this is the one I normally do, which is the sun to care gel to oil, which is really nice because it's quite glowy. But, but yeah, that is where we're at. I've got this mess behind me. I just need to sort through all my old summer clothes. I got them all out of storage and yeah, I haven't seen a lot of my summer clothes in a really, really long time. So I'm gonna sort through. There was a lot of stuff that I didn't get to wear in summer. So I didn't really need to order anything new, which was quite nice. I'm just gonna stick with everything I've already got. And yeah, I'm excited to pack some summer stuff and just yeah, wear it and be in the sun basically. But um, I will time lapse you guys a little bit and then I'll kind of show you what I've packed when I've packed a little bit more, but I just thought I'd update you all basically. What's going on, what's happening. And this is my first vlog of the year as well. And I haven't, um, yeah, vlogged yet. So this will be fun to be able to start the year on a little high and then my second vlog will be me in Mexico hopefully and yeah I think that's the update I'll take you guys along for the week I'm shooting on Thursday and yeah just packing today doing lots of editing and admin so I will take you guys along it's the next day so I was packing last night and I will do an update on like where I'm at with the packing but Jay came over and we had a dinner with my family and then yeah just what did we do like I feel like we just didn't do anything this always happens we never can really agree on what to watch then we just end up sitting staring at Netflix and scrolling well that didn't happen last night yeah we didn't watch anything well because you went to sleep I yeah. watched something oh what did you watch what did I watch your wrestling show Oh, I did, yeah. Was it good? Dark Side of the Ring. Dark Side of the Ring, for anyone yeah. that cares. Um, but anyway, <laughs> no, 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 like, as in some people might care, but Yo, some people might not. Yo, any of you big WWE fans, this is WrestleMania 2022. Yeah, it does sound quite, like, interesting to get the backstory no, back the in back the day. No, the Dark Side of the Ring is good. It's like the, uh, the, the, the kind of dark side, or the, the side that you don't see of the fame of wrestling, I guess. That's what it is. But yeah, today is Wednesday. It is the most beautiful day. Look at the sky, guys. It's still chilly though. I'm in my blue scarf, my black outfit. I've got my coffee cup um, and I've got some blue shades. 
on my head from ASOS, my scarf is from Mango, um, and the rest of my outfit is just like an all black cuddled up look. And then Jay's in his little Zara fleece and his little Zara hat, and he's wearing his, are these ASOS trousers? Mm. ASOS like smart cigarette trousers and Converse. They're like probably my favorite combo that Jay wears. And then um, we're just out on a little morning walk before we film. We're actually gonna film oh, like a molting oh, hair. Oh yeah, this is good. We went to this place in Seven Dials that do the most amazing Greek food. And I love the spinach feta, like warm pie that they do, like the pastry. And I actually can't have it because I can't have onion and garlic, which is such a pain, but Oh, there's yeah. times where I've like eaten it and then felt really sick afterwards, but it's been so worth it, you know? <laughs> Whereas Jay was like, I'm not sure I like it, and he's loving it. Look yeah. how good that looks. It is delicious. So good. But anyway, what I was saying is we're filming today. We're gonna do some couples ways to wear on the camera. Um, so we're just getting some food in, a coffee, and a walk beforehand, and potentially I'm gonna just take a little pick of this outfit as a cozy little going for a walk look. But yeah, that is the update. That's what we're doing. Um, I'll show you some behind the scenes of us filming like on the screen probably now because I'm gonna be filming on this camera. So it's probably gonna be quite hard to do both. But yeah, that is the update. And I'll show you guys if anything fun happens. Although I'm probably just gonna edit and pack some more. done some shooting I don't know what I needed to say then but the words did not come out right <laughs> we did like two little reels and then helped my sister shoot for her up and coming launch that she's doing for her illustration which is really cool so we did that and then I've had some lunch and Jay just Jay why can't I speak Jay just headed off because he's got work this evening and my lovely little flowers I've just put them in a little pot I've got my post-it notes with all my little gratitude things on and visualization and whatnot. And although it's a beautiful day today, I realize this room is just quite dark. My like little like walk-in rails <laughs> room. Um, but I thought I would talk through the piles a little bit of my packing, like where I'm up to, because I am gonna start now filtering through because this is a lot. Like when I send pictures to people, they're like, how is this for 10 days? But for me, this doesn't look like a lot. I feel like I've really like brought it down. So basically we have, this is probably something I need to minimize. I've got some skirt sections. So these are like sarongs, beachy things that I put on when I'm like out and about that I want to chuck on if I've been in the sea or if I'm around a pool so I don't burn. And then I've got my little ones that I like to wear like when I'm going out, if I was going to like a cafe or something. Uh, I've got like a little going out area that's like two dresses and two little tops there. And then I've got another little top that's long sleeve that might be quite good for evening because I'm a little bit worried about mosquitoes. And then we've got this dress, which I never got to wear for Reading from Jaded. Never got to wear this for Reading either. So I brought that. And then this is really, really old from Sabo Skirt. Like it's kind of going gray, but it's such a lovely holiday piece that I really love wearing. So I have packed those three as my dresses. Um, then I just got the classic vest. Oh, there's all my blue <laughs> tracksuit fluff there. Um, so I've just got two little black ones, three white, and then a colored one. And then these are just like bralette bikinis for like paired of shorts. And then shorts, well, funnily enough, I have literally, I don't fit in any of my shorts anymore, which is not ideal. Some of them are too small, some of them are too big, but I've, I need to decide basically between these two denim ones because I definitely don't need two. Um, one of them fit me better, the other one a bit looser, but a bit more covered on the bum. So that's something that I need to decide today. I've got my classic little black pair. I do love a charcoal grey short, but I just, like, these fit me so well. And I've had them for about 10 years from American Apparel. So they're, like, one of my go-tos. And then I've got some little linen. So I've got one pair of white linen and one pair of black linen just to be comfortable in. <laughs> Honestly, I can't believe that I have this much stuff. And then here we have the shirts, which, again, 
I probably need to like minimize. So I've got my white one, which is like my beachy one. This is like really, really soft. Got that from, I think it might be from M&S, you know, like a linen-y one. It's like a pajama. Then this is from Zara a couple of years ago. I've never had the chance to wear, which is really nice and floaty. Um, my black Zara one to go with the shorts. Pink Zara one, Motel Rocks kind of dressy. That's kind of like a going out shirt. And then just a linen white one again. That's a bit cleaner than this one because this is like my beach where I don't really mind like sun cream getting on it, everything like that. I've got a really little towel that's so easy to carry. This is from H&M. Super, super easy. And then I've got two tees. So like classic oversized tee and a white tee. Right, this is where I just don't know. So I've got these linen trousers. Everyone keeps saying make sure you bring a cardigan. So I thought maybe that with these white trousers. So I need to try on the linen trousers because I don't know how these fit. These are from Four From Reckless. They're like a flared trouser, which is quite nice, but they're very white. <laughs> and then we've just got my classic linen ones, which I always wear in spring, which are also good and mosquito repellent wise. And then this is like an evening, as you can see, it's got like marks on from when I wore it in Bali. But this is like, a, it's, got, it's got a lot of marks on. Maybe I shouldn't take this. <laughs> maybe not. But I just feel like a long sleeve play suit like this is always good in the evenings because this one's a little bit thicker. So it keeps me a bit warmer, but I probably have too many shirts. <laughs> so that is my current dilemma with those. So I'm gonna try on the linen trousers at some point. And then here we have gym outfit because I like to do some movement in the morning. Pajamas that are shorts, a tanning pajama top that I would just have to get my pajama bottoms dirty for, and then a satin long sleeve pajama set because these, by the way, are from Chelsea Piers and they are the best material. Like this is the softest jersey, like upcycled. I think it's made from recycled materials, and then this satin one is also made from like old tires. But the materials are just amazing. So I've got those pajamas. Um, the long ones for the mosquitoes mainly because I'm really worried about being bitten alive. Also being told to wear socks. Apparently socks help them not eat you. Um, and then here we have the little bikini area. So these ones I've all tried on. I want to take. And it's just a bit. It's a lot. That's two bags full of bikinis. <laughs> I definitely don't need that many. So today's task as well is to perhaps try those two bags on because I've got that bag. I've got my River Island sandals. These are like my go-to just for like wearing when I'm going out and about. I will be taking a white pair of trainers and I've got these slip-on ones and then I've got these ones. And that is it in terms of shoes. I'm just gonna take the four sandals and then a pair of trainers. Um, um, and then I've got a little hat. This is from Hads Design. They really kindly sent me this like two years ago. And then I've just got some netted bags. So I've got one bag that's black and one that's cream for the beach. And then I'm just gonna get a little colored bag now, just like a little shoulder bag, I think. And then I think that's everything. Got all the toiletries that I need to pack. Um, yeah. Does anyone sometimes feel like they can't fully pack until like the day before because of toiletries and things like that? Because I would like to just start packing this, but then I'm like, I'm just gonna redo it again. So I'm holding off <laughs> slightly. I also, I have got some other things on the way. I didn't do an order. I just had two brands that reached out and they were like, oh, we'd love to gift you for your trip. So that should be really, really lovely. Um, it's just one bikini set and one like lounge cream set, which will be long sleeved. So I do need to minimize my shirts because there is another shirt coming and I definitely don't need that many. So yeah, anyway. It is the most beautiful day today. I can't quite believe how beautiful it is outside. But I think I'm gonna jump in the shower now. Again, <laughs> second shower of the day. It gets to like 3 p.m. and I just like, I need to just get into bed. I need to strip this off. Like full, full D, D what's the word? I don't even know what the word is. Just like get in your cozies. Even though I think my friend just texted me saying, do you want to go for a walk at sunset? So potentially, on my way home, looked at the sea. Oh, she's already been. So that means that won't be happening. But yeah, that's the update. <laughs> Basically, I'm just gonna have a shower, upload the footage, do some editing, and yeah, maybe pack. I don't know, I just don't know. <laughs> Two days to go. I've just done a very sweaty workout. But I just thought I'd update you guys. So 
When I get my eyebrows and eyelashes done, they are so intense until like the day after. So I had them done quite late last night by the amazing Claire. She's in Brighton, she is just incredible. I will leave, if I can, on the screen here, like a pic of them before and then like a little after so you can kind of see. I also got my holiday nails, what do you guys think? I went for like just colorful little tips. I did like a turquoise. I got my inspo fully from Pinterest from a picture but I mixed up a few of the colors because I wanted to go a little bit more like blue and turquoise on some of the nails and then the thumb is like that sorry i'm a bit shaky <laughs> after my peloton but i am so pale i have fully scrubbed so like literally everything off i don't think i've been this pale for years <laughs> so i'm not used to seeing myself i realized it's such a bizarre thing that because i've been fake tanning for so long i'm i don't know how to like wear makeup with my natural skin which is just like what so i really need to yeah i don't know just maybe have days where or like weeks where i don't do fake tan um and things like that but it's pamper day because it's a saturday i've got all day tomorrow just to kind of do like final little bits but update on the packing this really doesn't look like i've nailed it down but i have like i've nailed it down we have this to fit in the suitcase and that's not even like hair stuff I'm a little bit worried. I've also had to pack like so much into my hand luggage because I just, yeah, I don't really know. I, should I, do you think like a hair straightener? I don't really know guys, to be honest. I'm not really sure about the hair situ. Having side bangs is such a pain because it's like I only use the Dyson Air app on my side bangs and then I don't usually use hair straighteners, but I'm sure I'll work out how to do it. I'm sure I probably won't be doing my hair a lot. But yeah, anyway, so the plan today is to get that into that suitcase and then see where I'm at. I've started doing my makeup. I've got this amazing flat lay London little pouch. You just like whiz it up, everything's in it, got all my makeup. And then I've got my flight bits so far. So <laughs> I've got my mosquito repellent, bracelet and deodorant roll on for when I get off the plane because we've got to get a taxi and a ferry. And then I've got toothpaste, my face glow and a perfume just in case I want to feel a bit more alive. Um, I've got some after bait, after bait, after bite sting stuff packed. Um, yeah, loads of little bits, but I'm going to do a little face mask so this is the face mask i use when like i want a full exfoliate like a deep because i've kind of got a lot of blackheads and things like that and this is the body shop himalayan charcoal i was gonna say sea salt but just charcoal face mask and it's like really refreshing and really awakening it's very very minty it's more of like an intense face mask and i've been using it for around three years so i use it maybe once or twice a month when i feel like i need to and it just feel like honestly there's nothing like it it gives this like amazing glow to the skin but it does the most intense exfoliate you kind of need to apply it before you're going to get in the shower because it's a bit tricky to wipe off so i'm going to apply this all over and then on the days where i'm doing more of like a once a week kind of face mask. I use the, this one, Espa Clean and Green Detox Mask. This is a bit more of a gentle like clay kind of mask. And that's a really, really lovely one. And then another one that I love is the Mediterranean Almond Milk with Oats. This is like a soothing mask. It just like leaves the skin quite soft as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna apply this all over and then tempt while this is just having its 10, 15 minutes just to do a bit of my suitcase, but I just thought I'd update you. Also, while I'm applying this, I would have done like a try on haul for like a lot of the stuff, like an outfits that I'm taking, but I feel like you guys are just gonna see it when I'm there, like over on my Instagram and then I'll vlog little bits, but I'll leave on the screen here, this amazing company sent me literally my dream blue abstract bikini and really amazingly sent us a wrong as well, which I didn't know she was going to do, but I don't know how to pronounce the name of the brand, but I'm going to leave links down below and pictures here. Excuse, <laughs> excuse like the photo and everything like that. I was just taking it for the girls group chat to say like, shall I take this kind of thing? But the fit and quality of it is just amazing. Like they're all upcycled materials and they just do such fun prints and styles. And it came with the blue shirt, which I love. And then I'll leave a little like orange sarong and shirt combo, which I got from, I actually got that in Topshop closing sale when they were doing their massive closing thing. I just went in and 
bought them both so they're really like old pieces that I have from like a year and a bit ago but love the orange prints and things like that and got a little pink skirt and a pink shirt and things like that so I was just kind of like getting shirt and skirt combos for the beach because I think there's going to be a lot of like just being on the island which I'm so excited for like it still doesn't feel fully real because I'm need to get over the flight first once I've, the flight is over I'll feel a little bit better but yeah so I've just applied it really really badly but onto the areas I need like all here and then I am yeah I'll shower off in a bit I'm currently also deciding what color to paint my toes I'm kind of thinking like this is quite a subtle one from Essie it's one of my favorite ones and it is in the color 59 but then this is a really gorgeous opi one like it's their 009 shade in knowledge's flower it's just a bit brighter but i don't know if i like having bright toenails <laughs> not sure yet but um anyway that is it on you can see me here <laughs> let's get packing basically <laughs> So I've got my rucksack, my travel pillow, headphones, rape alarm, <laughs> um, little like warm things and a pair of shorts to chuck on when I get off the plane, a little hairbrush, sunglasses and clips I actually keep in my like backpack hand luggage because I don't want them to break in my bag. I've got my book for the plane. I'm going to finish this on the plane basically so I can, well, I basically read it and didn't take it in so I'm rereading that. Um, and then I've got my little outfit so I've gone for a little ribbed long sleeve top tracksuit because i just need to be comfortable even though it's going to be warm this will be something that can keep me warm if i need to got my trainers my little like bits and bobs of the plane so i've got my restful like point oil from s bar this like keeps me quite calm i use this anyway every night before i go to bed but when i'm flying just in general it's a really nice scent i've got my little mosquito stuff antibat blah 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 little face um repair mask that i'm gonna put on on the plane also with my moisturizer in there as well just to like even out the way i've got my trainers got my little bum bag with all my bits like passport all that and then in here we've got clothes so this is dresses shorts tops shoes bags shirts and then we've got bikinis towels little vest tops and pajamas and then we've got pants and socks we have a bag, we've got like all the kind of like, in here we've got all the mosquito stuff, my vitamins, my supplements, then we've got all makeup and bathroom things, and then we've got hair straighteners I've decided to take, and a little brush like this in the hope that Kirsty will bring <laughs> hair dryer, and if not, the hotel will have one, and then I can do my side bangs just with a roller brush. Um, but yeah, that is it fitted out, and then in here I'm just going to put wires also. When I order my jewellery from Aurelia and brands like that, they come in these bags and I just keep them. Like when I'm going to Jay's, I put my makeup and my toothbrush and things in there. And that's like my little like bits and bobs thing. Like same with like brands like this. Like this was a really long time ago. I got this little Frank Goldie bag, but they, yeah, they just put all my pants and socks in perfectly. So they're great little bags to put like pants and socks, like wires, anything like that as well. GoPro is fully charged. My book is there for the holiday. That is me done, guys. I've off the mask. I don't know if you guys can just see like how glowy. I'm going to stand up in the light a little bit more. It literally just makes my skin feel so much better, <laughs> that mask. So I've done that. I've had a big old scrub again. I'm all moisturized, ready to do some editing and basically just sort out my phone and my laptop because I'm not gonna take my laptop away with me. So I wanna just make sure my phone has like everything backed up, everything on it, things like that that I need. Um, and yeah, sort out the bank stuff. I'm gonna use Monzo when I'm out there, but we've also got a bit of money for one of the islands because they don't have ATMs. So <laughs> it's like trying to work out how much money we're gonna need and then just, hoping it's going to be fine but yeah that is the plan I'm going to do some editing and I'm actually going to edit this vlog because I want to get this fly live fly live live <laughs> um tomorrow so or Monday yeah Monday so I'm gonna go crack on with that now really fancying a pizza like really f it's like three o'clock and I feel like I've had lunch I've had like two breakfasts I need to wait until at least five till I eat dinner <laughs> so I'm holding off till five and then I think I'm gonna order a pizza so 
that is the update. That's what I've packed. I feel so much better now that I've done that because I was like, how am I going to get it in? But I just got it, got everything in, which you would have seen in the time lapse. I just managed to squeeze it into those travel bags. So yeah, I will leave those down below as well. Also, seeing as this is my first thing of the year, I've got my little goals thing. This is what I did. I printed up like a little cardboard cutout and I wrote all my goals. I'm not going to share them <laughs> just because, yeah, I feel like they're a little bit private, some of them. Um, but I wrote this on the back this year and it's basically called Remember From Me To You from me to me and I wrote a little basically a little bit of when I was feeling like really stressed and overwhelmed and things are a bit difficult in December I just wrote down how I was feeling and ways that I could help myself a little bit better when I was in those situations and this like little paragraph on the back here is for just reminding myself like whether it's every day or every other day or I don't know, once a month I pick it up and I just remind myself and it just basically says, remember there is more to life than socials and being online and being present within work, be more in the moments, live for this moment right now because that's something I'm really bad for, like I, I'm just working and I don't have these moments where I just kind of live in it and I think I was yeah, going a little bit too fast with things. It says, take time off when you need it because it helps with creativity and allows you to refocus on ideas, staying in our lane and feeling less overwhelmed by ever by what everyone else is doing. So I feel like comparison is such a like wide range of stuff. Like for a long time, I was like, oh, if you compare yourself online, it's like body image and things like that. And I think that's probably because that's how I was feeling it for a long time. And then I kind of put things in place for like tailoring my socials and things like that that kind of just really helped kind of tailor my online space to something that was way more positive but then throughout lockdown and through I guess seeing people's milestones and I'm I literally do it like I post the things that make me happy I post the things that make me feel good but there's also sorry I've got fluff on my nose like stuck to my moisturizer there's also times where I'm like there's so much going on and you're trying to be creative in an industry where there's so many people being so creative and so inspiring which is just amazing but when you when I personally feel overwhelmed by that I then sh like I can't be creative like my brain just doesn't function in the same way as if I would have time off and I forget that so basically just reminding myself like you don't need to focus on what everyone else is doing and think oh that person's doing that so like that's going to be better than what I can ever do so I can't do it so or like things like that, that's just like a tiny example, but just knowing that like there's no time frame for my life or anyone else's and everyone's at different points, everyone's doing different things, everyone's got different paths, everyone's had loads of little life moments that are so unique to every single person that they're never going to be the same and life is never going to be the same for any single one of us, so that's a little reminder for that and it just says be present with loved ones stress is a thief of those moments remember that do more for yourself when you need it if you need a moment have one so that's my little remember if I'd read that to you guys um just some things personally that I know ooh, that I'm really really bad at doing I just oh god I'm like banging around <laughs> um yeah just stuff that I'm really bad at doing like switching off and being in moments and taking that time out when I need it and listening to myself a little bit more because I am so guilty of that so anyway I'm so conscious I have literally spoken so much at you guys in this video but it's been lovely just to like catch up and chat with you all and I can't wait for the next <laughs> vlog to be so much funner and be away and showing you guys a new place for once because it's been a long time since I did that um I have I was like going back through my travel videos the other day and I just feel like I'm a completely different person from back then it's mad um yeah very excited and I'm gonna edit this I potentially will pop back in and say bye but yeah I don't really know what else to show you guys <laughs> um maybe my little day tomorrow but so lovelies I have spoken for so long in this vlog so I am gonna end it here I had a really lovely pizza evening and chilled out I actually watched the Green Planet with David Attenborough on BBC iPlayer for any of you that haven't watched it and just want to chill out and zen out it is such a good little episode I feel like it's new but it's not because I feel like I've seen it before so I need to have a google and see if it's actually like an old thing that David Attenborough did or it's a new thing but I really really enjoyed it um I'm currently just editing <laughs> and eating some snacks and I finished packing and that kind of thing which I updated you guys on but 
yeah I hope you're all good and I hope you just have a lovely few weeks I have a few videos going live in terms of styling but vlog wise my videos will be going live for Mexico in February so yeah bear with me I just I'm gonna switch off from work for a little bit I'm leaving my laptop at home and I'm just gonna have some downtime and just soak in my first trip in two years so yeah very very excited today but I'm just sending so much love your way I hope you're all good and I will see you guys in the next video lots of love Bye.